Two days before the start of classes, the Staten Island High School community is mourning the death of a football player who collapsed on the field. CBS 2's Weech Jang spoke with his family members a short time ago. Miles Kirkland Thomas had big plans to leave behind a life in the projects and earn a football scholarship to go to college. But on Monday, the Curtis High School junior collapsed during practice. Nobody slept last night because something missing in our family. At his home in the West Brighton houses, Kirkland Thomas's grandmother still stunned that he died just 16 years old. His mama been up all night crying. I appreciate y'all knew me to coming by, but right now his mama is really, she's been up all night, she's been crying. I'm very, very upset, that, and I know that he's in heaven now. And Kirkland Thomas was a leader at home and on the team. He always made sure you was okay. He was, he was real cool. The whole team, the whole football team loved him. Teammate Ahmad Anderson says yesterday they ran up the field a dozen times, then took a water break. The players were doing individual workouts when Kirkland Thomas passed out. He was in cardiac arrest when an ambulance rushed him to the hospital. We don't know what happened, but he just fell. I think he was overheated probably, but he just, he fell. Kirkland Thomas was a defensive lineman, six foot two, 320 pounds. An autopsy will determine the cause of death and if heat was a factor. It was one of the hottest, most humid days of the year and the saddest for a team still coping with a sudden loss. The team's first game of the season is scheduled for Saturday here at home. It's unclear if it will be moved or canceled. In the St. George section of Staten Island, Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News. The school's chancellor said in a statement she is deeply saddened. The Department of Education is investigating.